Hey guys, it's your friend John here. Today we're going to be making a very simple spear. Just a standard spear that's very easy and there's two main things you need. Number one, a throwing knife or some form of blade. And number two, you're going to need a standard pole or a standard broom handle. Something that you can put on the end of your blade so you have a nice spear. Those are the two main things you need on top of a few uh, other things as well. First step, draw a line where you want to cut it where you can put your blade in. Once you're done marking it, cut it with a handsaw. When you're done cutting it with the saw, take a hand file and just file it just to make the gap wider so the knife can fit in. So you can see the gap's a lot wider now inside and it will now fit the knife. The knife fits in nicely because I made the gap wider. Next, take your knife and line it up where you want to be and put markers where you're going to drill your hole to secure this knife in the handle. Next, take a blowtorch and gently blowtorch the wood just to darken the wood a little and give it a nice dark color. Don't stay in one spot too long. Make sure you move it all across so you have a nice even layer of darkness. After that, take it to the sink and gently wet sand it with some sandpaper. Once it's done drying, start applying the clear coat. Do between two to three layers of clear on your uh, pole. After you get your knife in and lined up with the holes, you're going to take three pegs and you're going to put each peg in these holes with some glue to hold it in. I also added tape on the other side so glue does not pour out of these holes. You want the glue to stay in here. Once you're done putting the pegs in each hole, clamp it shut with a vise and let it dry for a full 24 hours with the Gorilla Glue. Alright, so now the glue is all hard and dry, I'm going to take this leather cord and I'm going to wrap it around just to give it a little more strength and to make it look a little bit nicer. I also forgot to mention that right when you start, make sure you glue the other end and tape it down and let the glue dry. Right when you're at the end, take some glue and just pour some glue on. Once the glue is all on evenly, start wrapping it around the glue. Make sure it's nice and tight. Once you glue both sides, make sure you tape it shut and just let it dry. Now that the spearhead is all done and now that the leather is all done and dried, we're going to give it a good strength test on that log over there. Uh, hopefully it doesn't break. Last time I made a spear-like weapon, uh, you remember what happened last time I tested a spear-like weapon. It didn't go too well. It broke. Hopefully there's not going to be a repeat. And hopefully you survive. So let's give it a good strength test. So there's no damage, it survived the strength test, and even though I wasn't whacking it that hard, to be honest, I was holding back. I really didn't want it to break like last time, 
but it did a lot of damage to this wood. So it's still a pretty strong and lethal weapon. Let's continue the testing. So my next test is I'm gonna throw it and see if I can hit a target and get to see how well it penetrates. I have here a block of foam right here. I drew a little bad man on it. You know he's a bad man because he's like, you know, angry and he's got two knives and he's wearing his pants up to his nipples. So you know he's a bad man and I'm gonna see if I can hit this target standing really far away just by throwing it. So let's give it a go. So for the bad man right there. And I'm going to stand way over here and I'm going to throw it and I'm going to see if I can hit that target standing way over here. Whoosh! Whoosh! I think I got him. Yeah, look at that. Perfect hit right in the heart. Ugh, perfect. Alright, next test, I got me a gallon of water right here and I'm going to see if I can pierce it easily with this spear. Thirsty anyone? It's got a lot of damage. So overall, this is a really good spear. Uh, I know I was holding back on the strength test, but let's be honest, the point of a spear is not to be used as an axe, but it's really to see how sharp it is. So no one's gonna take a spear and chop down a tree with it. I just wanna make sure it was nice and strong, and it's pretty strong. And it did a really good job piercing the bottle and piercing the foam. And this is a really easy weapon to make. All you really need is a pole or a staff or handle, broom handle, broom pole, and a throwing knife, and maybe some leather cord, it's up to you. But it's still a really easy weapon to make and I think you guys should make a weapon. I'd like to see your own version of how you'd make your own weapon like this. And one of the reasons why I made a spear is because a couple people in the past had told me to make a spear. Uh, don't get mad because I know a lot of people also said please make a shield. I'm going to make a shield too. I don't know how I'm going to make it. I'm still trying to figure it out. But in the future I do plan on making a shield so please don't worry. But I wanted to make a spear first because people did ask me in the past first to make a spear. So I figured I'd do that one first. And I'm going to wrap things up by saying thank you for watching the video. I really do hope you enjoyed it. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, please make sure you subscribe. If you want to help me get more viewers, more subscribers, and reach new audience, please share the video among friends, Facebook, Reddit. The choice is yours. And thank you for watching. Overall, this is a really good weapon. I really did enjoy making it. It was very simple and quick for me to make. So thank you.